Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a table view. So how you can display data in a nice and sorted table. It's a feature that you're going to use in most apps, so it's a great thing to know how to do. So just keep watching this video if you want to know how to do it. Okay, so let's see how we create a table view. And we do that by first of all creating a project it's going to be a single view application. Then click next and I'm going to call this table view. Make sure that the language is set to Swift, not Objective-C. Then click next and save it wherever you want to. I already have a file named that, but I'm just going to replace it. And then I am going to start by laying out our storyboard. So this is how our app is going to look. And the only thing our app is going to feature is a table view. So just search for a table view and then drag it in. And uh, I'm just going to drag it wide here and place some constraints on it so that it looks great on all devices. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a prototype cell. So this basically means that now we're going to define how each and every cell in our table view is going to look. So I'm going to say, I'm going to click on the table view and then make prototype cells equal to one. So here we have our first prototype cell, just click on it and you will be presented with this. So here we can customize our cell with however we like, with a rosa color or a white color, whatever you want to, I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm going to call this prototype cell, cell. So we can refer back to it easily. So just make sure that it's named cell and then click on your table view and then click the control button and then while you're doing that, drag it over to this yellow button and then release it. Then click data source and do the exact same thing but this time clicking on delegate. So we're basically now giving our code the ability to, to uh, do something with our table view. So now we have our main storyboard set up and now we are going to go over to our view controller. So this is where our code stuff starts to happen and we are going to need two things, uh, two delegates. So we're going to need the UI table view, UI table view uh, delegate and we're going to need the, U, the UI table view data source just data source and then we are going to set up the table view so we need two functions in order to do this and the easiest way to find those two functions is by command clicking on our UI table view data source and then I'm just going to go command F and search for number of rows and we are going to need the two functions that look like this. So I would encourage you to just search for number of rows and then find these two functions right here. Just make sure that you don't take this one, but that it's this one right here. Then we're going to go back and we're going to paste them in and remove all fluff that is around them so that we're just left with these two. And then we are going to create these. Now what this means, what we're going to return here is the number of rows that we want in our table view. So this, so that we have something to populate our table view with, we're going to create an array and let's say this is a grocery list. So I'm just going to say list and then I'm going to create an array with all the things that I need. So I need milk, I need honey and I need uh, bread, I need um, tacos and I need tomatoes. No, I don't. I, I, I need, uh, let's see, I need tomatoes. That's how it's written, right? The reason I was thinking about writing something else was that I wasn't sure if it's that way, but I think it's that way. Now we are going to return the number of rows that we want in our list. And we do that by saying return and then just list.count. So we want the number of rows to be equal to the amount of items that we have right here. Then we are going to populate our table cells and we do that by creating a cell. So here we are going to define 
what the content is going to be in each cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a cell, which is going to be a UI table view cell. And then we're going to define the style, which is going to be UI table view cell style dot default. And here we have to remember the identifier that we gave our prototype cell. I gave mine the name cell and you probably did as well. So just write cell in here. Then we are going to give the cell some text. So we're going to say text label dot text is equal to list. And then we're going to move down the list. So we're going to say index path dot row. And then we're just going to return our cell. Return, just like that. Now what we're doing here basically is we're moving down this array. So first of all, our index path.row is going to be zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, until we don't have any more number of rows. And this is, should correspond with the amount of items that we have in our array. So now we should basically have an operational table view. So let's run it and see that everything is working and displaying as it should. So here's our table view. As you can see, I dragged it all the way to the top. So it's a bit hidden there. But as you can see, the table view is populated with all the items that were in our shopping list array. And this is how you create a table view in Xcode 8 with Swift 3.0. Make sure that if you enjoyed this video that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for my latest tutorials and videos. Other than that, thank you for watching.